we could have, for example, two positive charges. Let's place a positive charge here and a positive charge here. And let's say Q1 is equal to 3 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs. Let's say Q2 is the same thing, so we'll make them identical just for simplicity. And also say they're the same distance away from the origin. Let's say this is 3 meters and this is 3 meters. Okay. And I want to find the net electric field at the origin. At zero zero zero. Okay. So again, without even having to do too much calculation, what do you think the direction of the net electric field is going to be? Point with your fingers. Anybody? Okay. Some people pointing that way. These are two positive charges, right? So kind of like that. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's follow the superposition principle. Do it one at a time, okay? Ignore Q2 and just look at the electric field E1. What direction would that point? It point that way, right? Away from E1, right? So that E1 is going to be pointing in that direction. And we could quickly calculate this without having, without having to do too much mathematics because we know E1 is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Q1 over R squared times r hat. Well, what's r hat? What's the vector that points from the source to the observation location that lies along the positive x-axis? A unit vector pointing in the plus x direction is i, right? Or i is equal to whether the components of i are 1, 0, 0. Okay, so we know this has got to be 1, 0, 0, right? So we have 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. Q over R squared times 1, 0, 0. Okay? So we can, just, we can just eyeball this and figure that out. So that's going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th times uh, 3 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by the distance is 3 meters, so we divide by 3 squared, 1, 0, 0. Uh, 3 squared is 9, so we have a 9 canceling the 9 down here. We have not 10 to the 9th times the 10 to the minus 9. We're going to get 300 zero zero newtons per coulomb, right? And that is E1. That's the electric field due to just that single point charge Q1. Okay? Without doing any calculations at all, what are the components of E2? 0, 3, 0, right? It's got a point away from this second positive charge. Essentially, we're ignoring the presence of this guy for right now. Just think about the field due to Q2 at this location. It's a positive charge, and so it points away from that positive charge. So it's pointing in the positive Y direction. The charges are the same. The distances are the same. The magnitude's got to be the same, right? So E2 is... 0, 3, 0 newtons per coulomb. What's E net? 3, 3, 0. Okay, so adding those two vectors together, I get a net electric field pointing that way, right? So that's the total electric field or the net electric field that I would measure at that location due to those two charges. And again, we can erase these just to show that there's only one single electric field that we're going to measure, and that is E net.